not late. What time is it? It's like 7.30, I think. Oh, so I'm right on time. Do you want some tea? I love some yeah? tea. Yeah? Do you like peppermint tea? Yeah, yeah? It's, yeah? it's so seasonal. Perfect. It's so good. It's so seasonal. There's a bit of a joint left in there, but we should roll a fresh one, too. <gasps> Are you a good roller? Yeah. I'm fantastic sure. roller. There's a drought in the city. A drought? Of marijuana, a cannabis, to be exact. Pardon my language. <laughs> um, yeah, cannabis is a drought. I tried going through like dispensaries or clothes. I don't trust the OAC. I have a contact here to give you after, yeah? after, after <laughs> right? yeah. Not that it would go anywhere. Oh. Uh, so how you been? It's been what we saw yeah. last time we saw each other was a completely different season. <laughs> I know, right? Those were the days. Yeah, I got us some uh, goat cheese gouda. Mm -hmm. Some. Uh, this grown sweet fun. cherry tomatoes yeah, from Ontario and some grapes. You know, I'm like, Beautiful. I'm a cheese queen. <laughs> I like cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the future. I'm nervous about the future. Career wise, personal, like life wise. I'm excited for my 30s. I'm excited for my 40s. Oh my god, sprinkle some of your vibe on me. Right? <laughs> I know it's not easy and I said it's gonna be fucking hard, but I'm so excited. Oh, and I think yeah. you should too. And I don't know what happened. I know what like made you be tired because I get it. Like sometimes I'm like <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm like, let me just put my hand under water for five minutes. <laughs> like, but oh. find it, find that spark again because I've learned so much this year and you're gonna have being single, and like I learned so much career wise. I got to meet you ladies. Like I never thought like I know I get involved in cannabis and this and that. And I know it's been the hardest year of my life this year. Like I'm just oh. tired. And I'm like drained, but it's also been the most beautiful. I tell my kids, I'm like, life is pretty shitty right now. It doesn't mean I'm not happy. Like, I'm here with you. Like, you know, we were going to St. Lawrence Market. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about where my rent is going to come from. And like, how I'm going to do this and this and that. And it's fucking shitty because I, I know factually there's no way I'm going to come up with that money in that time frame. But I'm happy. And I can sit there and fucking think about my rent or I can sit there and, um, Thank you in the best possible way of just, again, existing with someone. It's nice to exist in the same space as someone else and kind of escape. And like escape is not a bad thing. Yeah, I'll sprinkle it on you. Find this park. I'm excited. And I'm excited because <laughs> I met people like you guys. Where I'm like, I can't wait to like have seen some of the things you guys have seen. Because mm. factually, I know some, you know, shit's going to happen. Like, for as much as good shit's going to happen, it's going to be just as awful. It also gets this age where you start losing friends. Where you like, you know, like I'm losing friends left, right, and center, right? And I'm learning what it is to cope with that. It's not easy. It's super hard, but it's also beautiful because I'm like, now I'm able to like take that and like, again, take that selfishness out of death and be like, well, my friend, you know, died of suicide. So instead of making it about me, I'm like, I should respect my friend's choice and like learn to live in their memory. And like, then I get to take that knowledge and bring it to my kids. So again, positive. There's a positive that came out of that. Like, I never thought I'd get separated and I never thought I'd have to pack a bag and leave and, like, you know, start all over again, just like my mom did. But you know what that taught me? It taught me that, yo, bitch, like, nothing can stop you, Cal. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Because you were able to build yourself from back, from the ground up in less than a year. And it was a testament to what I do for a living, too. I'm like, well, this is why I'm a housing worker. This is why. Because these skills, I've applied to myself not once, not twice, not three times. So find it in you, babe, because I look up to you guys, like, just the way you guys treat me and the way you guys are, like, humans and people of the world. Um, I know you guys all face adversity and, like, your own struggles and your own pain. But remember, there's people like me out there that meet you and are like, wow, that's one of the coolest people I've met. Because, oh. like, I can see it in your eyes, girl, but you're going to be fine. I love you. I love you more. I mean it, okay? So let's, let's move on. But, <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> wow. this bitch is... <laughs> oh my god did i say i was gonna get you more tea and that i didn't no no no. i've got my perrier girl we upgraded tea? from tea to perrier well i have a little bit of both stuff. right i like cold tea it says queens don't cry on my arm i don't know if you guys saw this i got it this summer oh i love that when i was working at hot box it says queens don't cry right and it means women in swedish too but i'm a crier cry baby cry and when you think you're done crying cry some more let it out. Let it out. Yeah. I believe in it. Today I cried at a fucking, at the, <laughs> that was it called, retirement party. Like, it was so touching. And I'm like, why would I internalize that emotion? Like, I'm like, let it out, girl. Like, because that brought me back to certain places. So, good mm -hmm. outlet. My birthday showed up. The most, all the people that left me, I just started crying. Cry. Like, 
And I, I'm not shy and everyone's like, why are you crying? I'm like, because I love you guys so much. When I'm sad, I cry. When I'm angry, I, I cry. Um, and I think it takes strength to cry. I'm so angry sometimes. I'm like, ugh. I just cry because of frustration, because I don't know what to do about it, and I'm, I'm like sick of it. For me, I cried over my dad, like sexually assaulting me for years and years and years. And I think those tears were shed in the wrong place. And I'm speaking for me, not for every other um, person who's lived an experience of that sort. I kept reliving my trauma. That's what those tears came from. It's like someone cutting themselves versus like, you know, I think of my son. I get like choked up every time I talk about him, right? Sometimes because I don't get to see him often because I'm in a different city or because like that's a, the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to me. So, girl, if you ever want to cry, call me. I say this to my friend. I'm like, just call a bitch up. We can sit on opposite <laughs> ends of the couch and eat ice cream. We don't have to talk to each other. We don't. I've done it so many times where my friends are going through stuff. I'm like, come over. You can sit there. I can sit here. So just watch TV and like, you want to cry? Cry. And like, and I don't ask her, are you going to be okay? Because no, clearly this person's not okay if they're okay. <laughs> and how are you going to tell you he's going to be okay when I have no clue and I, have, I don't know what's going to, you know, what you're going through. It's well, like, good to know. Bitch, I'll tell you a thing or two. <laughs> Maybe something you don't want to hear, but the truth. That's good. Right? Um, because if like, hey girl, like you're calling me crying about the same thing for the 10th time, like do something <laughs> about it. Like, let's, you, I'll help you. I'll take you, let's, you want to go to this doctor Ooh, appointment? Oh, kick my ass. No, but it's like, I had a friend, she's like, I think I have this, I have this. I'm like, okay, bitch, let's go to the fucking hospital. And I think she just needed someone to go with her because I hate going to the doctors. I had my previous partner literally like take me by the hand, like make me do it, right? Because I was like, I wasn't going to do it for myself, but I was going to cry about it. <laughs> so, fuck. Mm. I'm excited though. All in all to say, I'm excited. I'm worried about a lot of things, but I'm excited. Oh, now on the topic of dick. <laughs> <laughs> Let oh, me see if my Instagram is working. God, did we not see that dick? No, so I'm going to turn off my phone and turn it back on because y'all deserve to see this video. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, have you ever enjoyed sex with someone that you weren't physically attracted to hell yes really yeah okay i've had sex with women <laughs> and, and i enjoyed it okay, and it was no, more it's... about like the connection like okay. i met this person i was like whoa and i want to like i want to share bodies with you also like i've met men that are not my type but there was intellectually some of the most mm. beautiful minds out there and i'm sitting there and there's if you think i can speak like I, I, these guys would run Fucking circles, triangles, squares, every My kind of shape. Boring. Right? And it's not just because of the nuts. Cashew nuts. Cashew nuts. No, but and I was like blown. And they were in my tire, but I'm like, man, are you one sexy bastard? And I think there's different types of sexy That's true. There's different types of hot. That is true. And I'm not shallow enough to just base it on, I have preferences. Yeah. But I'm not going to limit Seriously. Well, are you going to get this turning you on, Jesse? Oh, man. My I, heart is expanding right now. Wow. My heart is expanding. I'm glad. Yeah. Because my dick is expanding. <laughs> This Moby Dick, though. <laughs> no, guys, like, this is some good cush. It is, right? Yeah. It, is. it has a little bit of hints of Moby. <laughs> hints of Dick. <laughs> yeah. This is so oh smooth. I'm not even coughing. How do you feel about uh, Dick Breath? I had Dick Breath last night in my couch. <laughs> do you like it, or do you do you What do you to, mean? Do you have to brush your... Do you want to brush it out? No, I'm not. I'm not Catholic. I don't jump into the shower right after <laughs> sex. <laughs> like, I... I like, mean, I, more just, like, the... the, the like I, I, I suck. Yeah, yeah. I, um, mm, can we hear it? So, um, I've blown someone because I don't want to like put timelines and um, <laughs> and ate their ass and all you know all the good things and we had sex. I'm like, nah. I'm like, I could like you know, it literally smells like sex. I'm like, that's hot. And I went home like I showered after. But I'm like, no. I'm like, if I have sex with you and like you took me. Yo, I'm gonna make sure, like, come here, I'm holding it, <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, oh, no, yeah. I don't think, I think sex smells hot. Mm. 
like, but there's times where, like, I you wash your face, obviously, but there's times where, like, mm, oh, you yeah. smell like my dick. That's kind of like, <laughs> like, yeah. You go to kiss them like and you're like, dick. yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, quote, verbatim, he took the, the words out of my mouth. <laughs> mm, 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 it's so nice to taste. <laughs> Just think of it. <laughs> it's so nice to taste yourself on someone else because yes, it's like, it's, it's a psychological. Oh. And you're like, huh, that's what I taste like. Oh, I'm when so you, angry you know, my Instagram isn't working. <laughs> What am I going to do without social media, Queens? I'm quite forward. I'm like, hey, handsome. Mm-hmm. Or like, I'll just go yeah. straight in. Like, you're beautiful. Sometimes it's about like just stating your intent. Like, clearly, it's like three in the morning. We're drunk and I'm sitting here talking to you. It's not because I want to be friends. <laughs> Let's be honest, bitch. My friends are right there. I'm not talking to them. Like, <laughs> How do you feel about spanking? Girls spank me, slap me, <laughs> spit in my mouth, make you call you daddy. Depending again, sexual chemistry, like the roles can be switched. That's what I really appreciate about like gay sex. It's like reverse roles, and I'm not saying like you know masculine or feminine, more like dom and submissive. Mm-hmm. Um, depending on who's topping, who's bottoming, like mm-hmm. can get pretty interesting. And you switch. I mean, I'm a bottom by major. But by major, but top like you know my minor was in topping, but I think as I got older and I've understood like what my stature is and like a bit more dominant, right? Um, I end up topping like ninety percent of the people I'm with. Is there a conversation before sex happens about fuck? It's roles? on your profile, like it? oh it's yeah, it's like says bottom. It depends on the chemistry you have with people, mm. really, because um, you know bottoming for me is very personal. Like I can I can relate to like. I will never understand, but can relate to women, you know, having, uh, you know, intercourse because it's like it's a for me it's, I have an attachment to it. It's a very personal thing to allow someone inside of me, and it's like it's letting go of like your power. You're, you're most vulnerable. You have someone in you, right? So that's why I also don't like to share that with everybody and everybody. I like mm-hmm. it to be someone I actually have a connection with. I, I have friends that are strictly bottom and partners strictly top, and it works. But in most like gay relationship, it's like you're finding yourself, right? A lot of us kind of like go through these different periods of like, you know, especially like we're living in a world where like everything is binary, like of like being masculine and feminine, or like trying to find a balance between the both. So like your sexual preferences will change, like you know the way you dress, the way you act, the way you speak, who you hang out with. So like I'm not first, like I say, I'm like I'm a bottom by major and top by minor, but someone's gotta. It's got to step up and do it. Someone's got to be doing the fucking out there. And, you know, like, and it's also because guys to- assume right away by looking at me, like, this guy must be a top. <laughs> Why? Because I'm wearing fucking Jordans and a fitted? Like, <laughs> what do you think it is? It's, it's a whole mask for mask thing. And it's disgusting. It's because I present a certain way. But you guys also know me. I'm like, I'm the bitch who wears kimonos and has a fucking chopstick in her hair. What's his name? Campbell's soup guy. Andy Warhol's blowjob. <laughs> Andy Warhol's blowjob, New York versus Toronto. You can look it up, and I'm pretty sure my reference is right. It's a video. It's a short video where he's comparing oral sex in New York at a certain period in the, I think it was the 70s, and then uh, oral sex in uh, Canada, right? Ooh. And then, uh, like, penetrative sex there. and penetrative. So here people were giving oral without condoms and having intercourse with condoms versus in the States where they blew with condoms and unprotected sex which is kind of just at that time right i play safe um but again that's my preference uh but also i sorry things that come from last night Um, (laughs) it's weird i need to pull this up for you guys there's the power of like it's like you know being subjected to something for so long like to her the sky is green because she's seen the color green she keeps seeing the sky is like blue, but her dad is like, no, the sky is green. And like, you know, and it was a social experiment he did on his own daughter. I'm getting the base foundation of that story, right? Because now I'm lit. Yeah. Shout out to Moby Dick again. <laughs> um, <laughs> the world is our oyster. And I'm a fucking eat it. <laughs> oh, that is a great that. quote right there. <laughs> I had a girl look at me in the eyes and she's like, how neglected were you as a child um, to be, she's like, oh no, knowing as that you're loud and well, like, you know, um, take a lot of space and this and this and that, which is true, like I'm outspoken, I'm loud at parties, how neglected were you as a child? Uh, and I looked at her, I'm like, listen, 
I'm like, I don't know you and you don't know me, so correct your language. When you're saying that I was in a as a child, you're insulting my parents. I was like, I have an ego and some narcissistic tendencies. I'm loud and I take a lot of space. But I wasn't neglected as a child. I looked at it, I was like, Daddy touched me. But I wasn't neglected as a child. It was my birthday night at my friend's Aww. house, and you're going to speak to me that way. I'm not going to take a second to be like, hey, babe, no. Like, sweetheart, you shouldn't know. It was very blunt and honest. It was like, it was a pleasure meeting you, you know? What was yeah. that? Was that a I was like, Yeah, I was like, click. He was like, shot, like, shot, you know? You're so good at comebacks. Oh, gosh. Like, <laughs> he was about to make that. You, that? <laughs> you know, like, you know, the things that, you know, you think, oh, I wish I had said that like, when you think of it later, but you're good at doing it in the moment. Um, I don't know. I think I, I also love, like, my drag, called, like, drag queens and, like, a lot of like my one-liners, my quick is has been taught to me by like old, old school queer people. I know how I come up with it. I think I just talk a lot of shit. And I'm like, I, I like the sound of my own voice, so I always have something to say. You know what I do now? Sometimes I'm at house parties and there's no one around. There's a mirror. I cheers myself. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's fun. Like, I'm like, I enjoy me. I might not be the like smartest or greatest or... But I do enjoy myself, nice. and I enjoy my company, and I enjoy my friends, and I enjoy my life. If I have to defend someone, it's because they're being a bully. Yeah. That's the only time I'll speak for someone else. If I'm like, literally, you're bullying someone, they're so uncomfortable, they don't know what to do right now, then I'll speak up. But most of my friends, like, try them. Some of them are sassier than me. You think I'm, do you think I'm, well, you should see that. You should hear the queens I hang out with. You should hear the queens I'm going to see. Shout out to Shamarki and Cash. Like. Hey guys, I want to finish all of this food. Do it. Yeah. Can I eat all these nuts? Yeah. <laughs> there's there's more pita bread too. Oh you want me to get more Three pita? man messages. All this me. talk about sex, I tell you, man. It makes you makes hungry. Makes you hungry. Does, is, is that what it is? Makes me hungry or am I suppressing? Talk about the devil, one of the queens. I'm shooting a podcast. I'll call you back. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> What's up? You are very liberated in so many ways. Oh, thank you. When there's a slide, you're sliding down it. I love slides. You do love slides. <laughs> swings. Especially the slides. Maybe that you need to get yourself around. a sling. It's like a slide and a swing together. <laughs> Live for yourself sexually there, girl. <laughs> he was worried that I didn't respond right away, so he wrote again. <laughs> He's really? Like, He's on the chase, girl. I know. After he sent me all those links, he's like, still no, want a cam? And, and if you're hairy, that's bonus. <laughs> Look at that like, lava. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, she's like, I'm winning. <laughs> Where did this person come out from? <sighs> <laughs> I better get some dental dams. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what dental dams are? Yeah, I never <laughs> used one. Yeah. Would you use one for like, um, mm, it's like for, a dick? no, for licking ass? No. Oh, no. 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 I like to taste the booty hole. <laughs> nice. Mm, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, there's some sweet booty hole out there, girls. Wow. Uh, have you ever seen oh, she's eating a <laughs> strawberry. She goes, oh, <laughs> <laughs> have you have you ever been there and said, mm, I know what you had for dinner? No, girl. <laughs> that see, that's where you lose me, bitch. That's where you lost me. No, I imagine. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that's a joke. He's, he's into that too. I'm like, oh my god. Oh yeah, good for you. Ooh. Yeah, there's nothing Ooh. nicer than having your booty hole licked. Oh, it has been a while. Back to that guy that had that really big penis. Mm. So, did you, did nothing happen? No, there? I mean. It was too big? Yeah, was yeah. Big? well, I took it one day, but I was, I was, I was, I was, I was snowing. I was snowing, I was skiing. Okay. So, I guess people know exactly what I'm talking about now, but it was. Oh, okay, okay. Right? So, you're like, oh, okay, okay. So, and I'm like, ready, okay. set, <laughs> Hot, hot, hot! You know, just like go for it. It's such a, but it took a while. Yeah, and it was, you know. Was it painful? No, I kind of enjoyed it that time. Okay. But I think I was like ready for it too. Like you know when they say like, I know, man. Yeah, it was sometimes. But like you kind of like loosen up for it. Like you know, you're like you're like yeah, I'm ready Super. for that. Like I want it. It was like one of those nights. I was really drunk too. So I think drunk. Yeah, if you try, if you ever trying anal for the first mm -hmm. time, please be drunk. That's my only advice. I'll give you. Mm. Mm. <laughs>
<laughs> brings me back to New Year's. First time I got slapped. Oh. Mm. Well, Older daddy. Where did you get slapped? Oh, I was sucking dick. Can you literally slap me? And I was You're like, that's hot. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> yeah, that's when I was like a power bottom, you know. <laughs> a power yeah, bottom. Yeah, girl. That's when you're just not. You're not thirsty. You're parched. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I think I'm parched. I'm parched too, girl. Every day, all day. I'm from the Sahara Desert, Morocco, in the house. <laughs> I'm just trying to be, you know. I'm just trying to keep hydrated in life, oh you know. My God. And I love, I love men. Oh my God, do mm. I love men? And do I love sex? Oh. And I love like relationships and like falling in love and like the whole oh. game and like the dating and like I live for that shit. It's exciting. It's fun. <laughs> Wow, I forgot about all those jitters and everything. It's fun. It's nice. It can be fun. That tickle in your taint? Because <laughs> you're scared? The you know, tickle in your what? In your taint. It's the space right between your asshole and your balls. Or your vagina in your case. Um, and just ting- it just tingles. Yeah. I never noticed a tingle. Maybe that's my asshole telling me something. <laughs> <and> that's the one. <laughs> it's like your asshole gave you a wink. Yeah, sex should be fun. Funny. Not plan like I hate when like you go to someone's house and they're like okay like, take off your clothes no it's like let me pick you up and toss you or like you know let me just pull out your pants as you're standing up trying to change like TV you know like, <laughs> nice. you know? like I'm like spring if, it on them if your dick is in my eyesight it's in my mouth <laughs> I'm just putting that oh on there. my god <laughs> 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 I love it but, yeah I'm sex positive call me a hook call me whatever. <laughs> Um, yeah, man. Why yeah. not? Give me all the dick. <laughs> I want to get fuck it tattooed on me, but I'm like, that's inappropriate. Fuck it? Yeah. So I'm going <laughs> to get kiss sera sera. Mm. It seems basically as kiss sera sera means, you know, the glass broke. Oh, kiss sera sera. The glass broke. Fuck it. Oh, your boyfriend dump you, sir. Kiss sera sera. Your boyfriend dump you. Fuck it. You know, and it's my mantra. It's one of my mantras I live by. Fuck it. I'm having a hard time walking because I've injured my foot three times. Oh. Uh, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's amazing, Jessica. <laughs> Thanks for having me, bitches. To be honest, like this is like I'm like fuck my shrink. Let me save $150 this week. <laughs>